Hi all, welcome to Santa Cruz. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. And uh, today we will be completely integrating our unlock sensor with the help of ADC IC MCP3008 or 3208. So with that particular IC we will be integrating towards the Raspberry Pi through SPI. So from that we will be uh, making on, uh, we will be just uh, moving on with one sensor, one sensor has been connected and from that we will be able to read that particular difference. So what and all that particular process everything we will be just seeing over here. Okay. So I hope it is clear for everyone. So hereby once when we are integrating this particular part, I hope everyone is able to uh, see this particular device. It has been completely connected. So here uh, the connection will be a little bit uh, stringered mode only like uh, it has a more amount of wires. So here the first pin of uh, this CLK it goes for uh, 18th pin GPIO 18. So here our uh, clock clock goes for GPIO 18. So where is that 18? Here it is. Then 23, 24, and finally with 25. So these four pins are it is easily connected. And this one is nothing but known as the channel pin. So here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 till 7. I have connected in 1. Now therefore if I just execute this particular code so here you can see that 73, 74 that will be the average value wherever I have connected the gas sensor. So for gas sensor also it has been directly interfaced towards over here. Now as usual the same taking the sanitizer now we can see that particular variation. Now the value has been increased till 629. So from that uh, 629 we are able to, it is automatically getting reduced once the smell started to go on. So in this way only we will be working with this ADC with uh, Raspberry Pi. Similarly if you want to connect any one more ADC means likewise can connect our moisture sensor. So this is nothing but our moisture sensor, for this we can just uh, integrate some wires. So for moisture sensor also I have connected 3 wires, so here we have shortage on pins, so therefore here we will be providing now the power supply has been provided and now I am going to just uh, provide this on towards the channel 0 ok yeah channel 0 now therefore we can connect our moisture sensor sensor with its controller everything it is interfaced so this way only we will be making the connection and it has connected to the channel 0 so hereby I am disabling it moisture comma x value similarly we can go for gas as y value ok now therefore everything is ready now let us run the code Now let us try with the code. Okay, perfect. Let us change this orientation. Yeah, now I have changed that orientation connection. Same value. So it is perfect. So hereby uh, we can see this is channel 0, this is channel 1. Only this is getting changed. No other change of applications is needed. Okay, according to that, what and all sensors we are connecting and we are able to connect 8 sensors, 8 analog sensors we are able to connect over here so that itself uh, it is some sort of good 
application only whatever we have so now let us have a test so hereby so hereby i have kept a lid of water so from that lid of water i will be just uh, dipping the moisture sensor and nearby we will be having our gas sensor also initially let us see both the particular values okay it is in 726 and 79 almost uh, range i am just dipping this in water so now the moisture value has been reduced it has been reduced to 500 so hereby if i spray onto this that value also got increased so these codes only very easy like a slight changes only i have made okay that too at one particular position only i have made it so in this way only we will be working with adc inside the raspberry pi in arduino we no need of adc itself that is very rarely applied now if i take my particular moisture sensor that is again back to 700 So in this way only we will be working with uh, unlock to digital converters okay so that's it participants if and we have doubt means we can just post it uh, Gautam Arma uh, the voltage required for this MCP is 5 volt the input voltage should be 5 volt whenever we are connecting this particular ADC 5 volt is required minimum voltage and maximum is 5 volt only not more than that Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.